Hello, and welcome back to Skyships, my dear aviation fans. Today we will continue our trip across the Airbus model line. And our next flying marvel, for the first time, has four engines. Let's take a look. Airbus A340, four-engine long-range airliner, born in the factories of Airbus Industries in the early 1990s. While the Russians were building their democracy and the Americans were sharing it with countries of Middle East and Africa, the Europeans created their largest aircraft of the 20th century. So, as usual, we have to return to the origins. Back in the 1970s, during the development of their first airliner, A300, uh, yes, the story begins with it again, a large number of modifications were created. When I told the story of A330, I mentioned two of those modifications. B9 and B11. The B9 version developed into the A330, the best twin-engine aircraft of the European Corporation at that time, and the B11 version became the basis for the A340. The problems of thrust lag and mass limitation of the aircraft were solved in a simple and radical way. If two engines can't make enough thrust, let there be four of them. In order to save money, Airbus even offered the development collaboration to the American McDonnell Douglas Corporation. But they refused, saying that the three-engine aircraft is more promising, and that they know the industry better than some bunch of Europeans from beyond the sea. Well, we know where Airbus is, but where is McDonnell Douglas now? Actually, exactly in 1990s, with the creation of the Air 340, the main McDonnell Douglas aircraft MD-11 began to lose most of the airline tenders, and after the introduction of the brand new Boeing 777, the history of MD-11 and the whole McDonnell Douglas as a civilian aviation developer ended. The new A340 made its maiden flight in 1991. The total of six planes participated in the flight test program. The model received type certificate in 1993. After that, the first aircraft had been delivered to the park of German Lufthansa airline. Short time later, Air France got its first A340. The 1990s were quite a good time for this aircraft to be born. Many airlines needed to replace their outdated Boeing 747 of the first series. However, at the end of the century, A340 met its main rival, Boeing 777. Ironically, once, with the model A300, Airbus beat all the competitors pretty much by the fact that its twin-engine airliner was more economically efficient than the three- and four-engine jets. Now, with the four-engine European, it was the other way around. A twin-engine American was stepping on its toes. Stepping very hard. Airbus had two basic modifications of their airliner. Models A340-200 and 300. The 200's version could accommodate 303 passengers in two-class configuration and fly at 14,800 kilometers. And model 300 could accommodate 335 passengers and fly at 13,400 kilometers. After some time, those models began to give way to 777. Airbus created two more advanced modifications, 500 and 600. The 500s could fly as much as 16,700 kilometers, from London to Perth, Australia. Model 600 had its own record. This plane was a competitor of the Boeing 747, but not having the upper deck, it could still accommodate over 400 passengers due to its stretched fuselage. Airbus A340-600 was the longest aircraft in the world. The main virgin of the United Kingdom just loved showing off with that fact. When the aircraft appeared in Richard Branson's Virgin Atlantic airline, for a while it had a slogan, mine's bigger than yours. Those planes were good, but not good enough. Boeing 777 continued its conquest of the market. This competition ended for A340 when, in 2009, the new Boeing 787 Dreamliner made its maiden flight. Airbus realized that in order to maintain parity, it is necessary to create a new advanced aircraft, which can compete with 777 and 787 in the 21st century. The new A350 project was started. Unfortunately, the beginning of the A350 meant the end of the A340. In 2011, Airbus closed the production of A340, and with it, the era of classic four-engine airliners. By 2016, more than 200 A340s continue their work in the sky. But the future of four engines belongs only to the giants. 
Kind of a sad story we had today. But don't worry, next time we'll look at this big guy's successor, the new A350, whose path has only just begun. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, comment and subscribe. Fast flights and soft landings to you.